Does this sound like you? You are going on vacation and you pack your running shoes and your workout clothes and you have every intention to work out while you are away. Let's be honest, those sneakers and that sports bra will never see the light of day. In this video, we're gonna explore some strategies on how you can stay consistent with your workout and your nutrition while you're on the road. Welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time that we're meeting, my name is Angeline and I talk all things wellness, fitness, and self-care and how I fit it into my schedule as a mom of two toddlers. Now this definitely used to be me. I travel quite a bit for work and I always pack my sneakers, my workout clothes in my suitcase and on day one of arriving, I never actually unpack them. Today we're diving into a topic that many of us struggle with staying consistent with their health and fitness routines and goals while traveling. I often travel for work and I don't love the way that it disrupts my routine, it disrupts my nutrition, and it really has an impact on both my mental health as well as my physical goals. But I've learned that it doesn't have to be this way. Whether you're hopping on a plane or hitting the road, traveling can wreak havoc on our usual habits. But with a bit of planning and determination, you can stay on track while on the go. Now first, let's talk about consistency. Consistency is key even when our surroundings and our environment are changing. And it's far more than you know checking off the boxes on our workout calendar or a meal plan. It's about sticking to habits that are gonna create long-term success. Think of it like this. Each workout and meal plan is like a brick that you're placing in the foundation of your fitness journey. Over time, those bricks add up and before you know it, you've built something incredible. So consistency isn't just about progress. It's also about preventing setbacks. By staying consistent, you're likely to fall off when life gets very hectic such as when you have to travel for business or you're going on vacation. All right, let's get into it. So step one is pre-trip preparation. So how do we set ourselves up for success even before we set one foot out the door? When I'm traveling, I like to research the hotel that I'm staying at, looking at the facilities to see if there is a gym available on site. If there's not, I often will Google the neighborhood to see if there is any type of spin studio, yoga studio, or gym nearby where I can attend some drop-in classes. Before you leave home, plan out your schedule. When I'm traveling for work, I'm often sent the agenda for the week ahead of time. I use this as a guide for when I'm gonna be able to find pockets of time to fit a workout in. Time difference definitely makes it challenging. I'm often traveling to the east so waking up in the morning for those early morning workouts is a little bit challenging but I know from experience that if I leave my workouts to the evening after a long day of business meetings I feel tired and that hotel shower and bed just looks a little bit too appealing to me so I know I never am able to fit an evening workout in so therefore I always fit my workouts in in the morning at the hotel and I say this a lot but working out in the morning for me I find I have more energy throughout the day I often reach for healthier food options and my digestion is also a little bit better throughout the day and Number two, we want to be adaptable in our workout routines. So as you know, I attend F45 multiple times a week. I really love this and I need this as part of my routine for my mental health and well-being. But obviously traveling for work, sure there's F45s all over the country, but I definitely need to be a little bit adaptable in my workout routine. It's definitely not an excuse to skip a sweat session. So get creative. Body weight exercises can make a huge impact. Squats, lunges, these can be done anywhere, anytime. And if you're trapped for time, trying to work those into a hit workout to be as effective as possible in a shorter amount of time. You can even use what you have in your hotel room if you do want weights, bottles of water, books, whatever you can find. I do know some people often pack ankle weights in their suitcase and take it with them. And if you're a runner, it can be as simple as lacing up your sneakers and hitting the pavement outside the hotel. Being smart, nutritional choices. This for me is the most challenging part of it. I love food so much and I love going to new places and trying different restaurants. Now I'm never gonna deprive myself of this because I would just be an extremely unhappy person, but everything in moderation. I think the hardest part is at the airport, you know, the fast food, the sugary snacks that calls to us. So try to prepare and pack healthy snacks in your carry-on before you get to the airport, fruits, nuts, protein bars. This goes a long way in avoiding all of those tempting airport snacks. I also find with the time difference, I'm often hungrier at different times. 
So having snacks on hand that are healthy prevents me from stopping into the nearest coffee shop or cafe and grabbing something from the bakery. I also find when I'm traveling and I know that I'm not alone, I don't drink as much water as I do when I'm actually at home and I often mistake hunger for thirst. So I like to carry a reusable water bottle with me. I actually carry a reusable bottle with me from home, I have it empty through security. And once I've passed security at the airport, I fill it up, making sure that I'm drinking lots on the plane to stay as hydrated as possible and to curb that hunger. And I know it's not always possible, but when you are at restaurants, trying to order whole foods, whole meals that are balanced with a lot of protein on my plate. So let's face it, setbacks happen. I would say 99% of people I know indulge on their first day of vacation and then say, oh, that's fine. I'll get back into my routine when I return. That's completely fine. What matters is how you respond. So be kind to yourself. And when you get back, dust yourself off and get back on track. I find what helps when on vacation is visualizing your goals. It definitely helps you stay on track, but also celebrate your progress and remember why you started the journey in the first place. I find with the right mindset, you can definitely stay motivated and try to avoid as many setbacks as possible. All right, there we go. Remember, it is not easy. If it was easy, every time you go on vacation, you would see the gyms full. You would see people going out for runs. If it was easy, everyone would do it. But I do think with a little bit of planning, adaptability, perseverance, you can stay on track and continue to make progress with your goals even while on the road. Thanks so much for watching my video. I definitely appreciate you tuning in. Please like and subscribe. If you have any other tips for staying on track while traveling, drop them down below. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.